So if you think you may be the victim of a medical error and negligence on the part of a doctor, it's important that you don't delay in consulting with an attorney. It's important you don't delay when it comes to investigating the case. Um, because one, there's a one year statute of limitation for medical claims. And two, a lot of time goes into investigating these claims to determine whether there is a viable claim or not. So first, the statute of limitation I've discussed before. Uh, it's one year uh, from the later of two dates, from either the date that you discovered or should have discovered the injury, or from the date where the uh, physician-patient uh, relationship terminates. Uh, so the, the one year starts to run on the later of one of those two dates. Um, so that's important because a year really isn't a long time when it comes to investigating these cases, uh, which brings me to the next point, and that's about the investigation needed for a medical claim. Um, first, you need to get the medical records, you know, all treatment from all facilities that could potentially relate to the claim. Uh, and it's not as simple as just calling up your doctor and saying, hey, I need my records. It could take one, two months to actually get your records. Um, it, it's a very time consuming process. Uh, so that, there's that. You know, once you get the records, you have to consult with an expert. You have to find an expert, a doctor, who's going to look at these records and render an opinion that yes, the care you received uh, fell below that which you would expect. And you need a doctor to render an opinion that uh, the doctors that treated you were negligent. Um, again, that takes time. You need to actually find this doctor, send the records to the doctor. Uh, the doctor needs to review the records and the experts that you retain are going to be doctors that are actively practicing. So they're not just sitting there waiting for these cases. They have their usual practice they have to attend to and then they have to look at your records. So again, um, it'll take, it could take several months for your expert to review the records and render an opinion, prepare a report. Uh, and in line with that, when it comes to actually filing a complaint for medical malpractice, you need to include what's called an affidavit of merit. And basically that's an affidavit from your expert that says the care you received um, from the defendants was negligent. This needs to be attached to the complaint when you file it. Um, if you don't have it, you can get an extension. So there is a little wiggle room, but uh, you're kind of behind the eight ball it, when you do that. So there's a lot of time, a lot of effort that goes into investigating these medical claims. If you wait till right before the statute of limitation is going to expire to consult with an attorney, um, there's there may not be anything we can do for you. It, it may be too late even though the statute of limitation hasn't expired yet because uh, of all that time and effort that has to go into the case investigation. So if you think you're the victim of medical malpractice, don't delay because you don't want to lose your claim and uh, be out of luck in the end. So again, don't delay if you think you have a claim.